What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Jet. Today, I'm gonna to start a new series that I'm calling This Over That, where we basically take menswear items that are pretty common and I show you one version that's like, meh, and then another version that's awesome. My hope from this series is that you learn a little bit, you step outside your comfort zone, and you start trying stuff that's new to you. Now, don't worry, if I point out something that's meh, and you happen to own that thing, that's totally fine. The whole purpose of this series is to teach you something new, uh, get you to sort of think outside the box, and maybe try stuff that you wouldn't normally try. I wanna point out these distinctions because I hope to inspire you to wear the versions that are like, hell yeah, the versions that are awesome, versus the ones that are just okay or actually not that great to wear. So first up in the series is the good old fedora. Now the fedora is actually what inspired me to create this series in the first place. When I first started wearing brimmed hats, I would say six or seven years ago, I didn't really know the differences or the distinctions between them. So I actually gravitated for some reason towards the ones with a really stingy brim and a really sharp pointed crown. And you know what, when I look back on photos, I didn't realize that I was wearing these, these hats. The whole time I thought I was wearing fedoras, but actually I was wearing this hat called a trilby. So let's talk for a minute about the differences between a trilby and a fedora. Most trilbies have a really stingy brim, stingy meaning short, a sharp pinched crown. The brim is turned up at the back and turned down at the front. These hats are everywhere and they look really cheap and I think that's the reason why they get a really bad rep. Okay, so let's talk about fedoras now. Most fedoras have a wider brim. They're usually at least 2.5 inches wide. They have different shapes of crowns. Some have a center dent, some have a pinched crown. Typically, they're made from better materials and there's a better build quality and they're sold by reputable hat shops. Simply put, they're different hats. So if you're wearing a trilby and you think you're wearing a fedora, you're, you're not. Now, aesthetically speaking, trilbies are just a little bit off to me. The crown is a little bit taller than they should be, at least the ones I've seen. They are very cheaply made and the brims are stingy brims, they're really short. And so when you look at the overall look with the hat and then a man's broader shoulders, proportionately, they just look off. So I've heard all the common rebuttals to this. Well, Frank Sinatra wore a trilby. Don Draper from Mad Men wore a trilby. Why can't I? First of all, the trilbies that Don or Frank wore probably were really high quality versions. They were probably made from reputable hat makers out of really great material. And honestly, the ones that I see nowadays look like they came from a clearance rack at Walmart. It's just simply not the same. Second, Sinatra was a really small dude. So proportionately, when you look at him wearing a trilby, it makes sense. He was a smaller guy. He probably had narrower shoulders. So, okay, fine. A trilby looked great on him. Don, on the other hand, was a bigger dude. I think he's like 6'1". He's barrel chested. He has wide shoulders. So I honestly don't know why he was wearing a trilby in the first place. Then again, I don't know what I was doing wearing bootcut jeans in 2005. So chalk it up to the fashions of the times, perhaps. So if you're interested in wearing a brimmed hat, go straight for a fedora. Skip the trilby. The wider brim is going to look more proportionally sized for most guys. There are plenty of brands and hat shops out there I can recommend. For starters, you could check out brands like Bailey or Gorn Brothers. They have stores all over the US and you can also order them online. Then you have your higher end hat brands like Lock & Company, Borsellino, or Bates. I actually cover this extensively in a post on Effortless Gen, so I'm gonna to link to that in the description below. All right, so final word. When you're ready to wear a fedora, make sure you choose this over that. All right, that's all I got for you. If this video helped, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's gonna let you know when we come out with a new video. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.